So, it was my 22nd birthday on the 31st of August and I was lucky enough to receive some really lovely presents and a lot of them were stationery or crafting related so I thought I would share them with you. I'm really sorry if you can hear screaming in the background, there are some kids next door that just fight constantly and I've got the windows open because it's quite warm and I've just heard that one of them is screaming so I'm sorry if you can hear them but anyway, I'll jump right in. So, my boyfriend got me a big box of scrapbooking supplies as one of my presents um, and he bought them from scrobby.nl which I will try and leave in the description um, but I will jump straight in. So, first of all I got this Doodabug Design washi tape, it's called Tutti Fruity, very cute. I got the uh, new Paige Evans Take Me Away Wild Heart Thickers. And I already have a pack of these because they came in last month's uh, Like Forever kit as well, but I love them, so I asked for them for my birthday too. I got the OES stickers from the new Amy Tangerine collection, which I didn't like as much when I saw them in person, but they're still quite fun. And from that same collection, I got the white foam stickers. More thickers, I got a pack of the Carefree thickers in my favourite font ever, again from the Paige Evans Take Me Away line. From another new collection, I got the Dear Lizzie Saturday stickers, and again I have a sheet of these that I got in my Like Forever kit, but that's fine, I really like a lot of them. More thickers, this time from the new Chamel Go Now Go collection, these are called Adventure. Some rose gold titles from Jen Hadfield Homemade collection. These are really pretty. I thought they'd be good for Christmas. And then I got the Hello Thickers from the new Dear Lizzie Saturday collection. Love them. that was all the crafty stuff that he got me and he also got me a Tyrion Lannister Funko Pop because um, it's kind of traditional that he gets me a Funko Pop and I collect them not on a huge scale as in I don't normally buy them for myself but um, it's kind of traditional that for birthdays and Christmas he gets me one and this is Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones then we'll move on to the presents that my mum got me so first of all this one isn't crafty related, but it's a personalised one pint Emma Bridgewater Rose and Bee mug and it says Chloe Pops on it, which is a childhood nickname and it's dirty because I've literally just had a cup of tea in it, but I wanted to show it to you. Um, I collect Emma Bridgewater, which you guys will know if you follow me on Instagram, which is always linked in the description. This is from Bando and it's sealed in there so I can't take it out, but it's a porcelain catch-all, but it's basically a trinket tray and it says Petit Secrets on it and it's blue and white stripe, uh, blue and white, pink and white stripes with gold around the rim and it's beautiful. This was from TK Maxx, in case anyone's wondering. Also from Bando, my mum got me these gorgeous pens, which are so pretty. This one says Girls Rule, Hey Girl Hey, and then this one's like holographic. Again, we found those in TK Maxx. Then she got me some notebooks from My Mind's Eye, and again, these were in TK Maxx. Now, I asked for these because I thought they would fit perfectly into a traveller's notebook and unfortunately they don't fit into mine, however, they do fit per perfectly sorry, into a personal size one, so I think it's just an excuse to get a personal size traveller's notebook, but this one says dream big, this one says there is something good in every day and it's all in gold foil, and then this one is just blue and gold foil dots and I do actually have some more of these as well that I bought for myself and they are in like a pink 
um, and multicolour with gold foil patterns. So pretty. Definitely need to get a personal size TN. And then lastly, also from TK Maxx, we got... I say we because I was actually with my mum when we found all this stuff. Um, this little pack of two notebooks by Kate Spade and they match a tumbler that my mum bought me uh, at Christmas I think and it's got this beautiful book print on it and they're just little lined notebooks with gold spots on the inside and then that one's blue on the inside perfect to just tuck in the back of my planner for notes and things and I think I'm going to put this book print one into the back of my Malden Lastly, my parents got me um, a light box, which I'm so excited about, and I'm not sure where my mum actually found this one, and I haven't opened it yet, but it is a light box, and I'm super excited. I wanted one of these when I first saw them um, in Typo, when I went to the Typo event last year. Well, that wasn't last year, that was this year. Oh my gosh, my brain. <laughs> but yes, I've wanted one of these for so long, and my parents got me one for my birthday, so I'm definitely going to set it up tonight. I also got some gifts from um, family and friends, so my mum's best friend bought me a gorgeous little uh, silver sausage jog charm to put onto one of my charm bracelets and my nan bought me um, a photo frame that at, it's like on a stand and then there's several different photo frames that you slot into the stand and it is so pretty. Um, so that's going to probably go in my craft room or maybe even in our bedroom, I'm not sure. Um, but obviously they're not really crafty, so I haven't included them in this video. Um, Daisy from My Green Cow sent me a little parcel of gifts. So she sent me some pens. This one says hello. This one has a little cupcake on. And this one is one of those like ombre looking gel pens, which is cool. Some paper clips, which I think are meant to be ice creams, but I'm not sure. And I've got those in gold, silver, and black. Some Molang sticky notes. Super cute. Some of these little Instax stickers. A set of polar bear stickers, which I'm absolutely in love with. And I feel like they're going to be on every single planner spread that I do in the winter. <laughs> And then in this little bag that says hooray on it, I got some washi. I got this mold coloured arrows and this gorgeous floral one. My best friend got me a beautiful journal from Paper Chase, one of their, you know, like traditional hand stitched journals. And it's got all these lovely patchwork fabrics on it with little beads stitched on. It's so pretty and it's just lined on the inside so I will definitely add this to my journal stash because I'm journaling quite a lot at the moment and I'm getting through them pretty quick so <laughs> I'll definitely add that to my shelf. I did want to spend some of my birthday money actually on myself so I went to Hobbycraft and got myself a few little bits and I did show them in a weekly vlog but I'll show you them now as well. So Hobbycraft are notorious for being really outdated with their scrapbook stuff but actually they've recently um, restocked their local Hobbycraft, close to me anyway, I'm not sure if every Hobbycraft will have these things, but they've got some of the newer, newish Pebbles collection, so I've got these puffy stickers and these stickers, which I thought would be good for my birthday photos, because there's balloons, party hats, and then on the back I think there's, yeah, there's a cake, so I thought that would be good for my birthday, and also there's a little bunny, so... Had to get it really, didn't I? Finally bought myself the Artist's Loft watercolour pan set with all the different colours. I have been using a very tiny, pathetic little watercolour set that has no pigment whatsoever, it's rubbish. Um, and I saw that Amy Tangerine recommended these ones. They're only £5 in Hobbycraft, so I just went ahead and bought them. Um, I'm not the sort of person who would want to be able to travel with them, they're just for use at home, so it doesn't matter to me that they're in quite a big packaging but yeah they were five pounds from the same pebbles collection as the stickers before i also got the thickers i really liked the shape of these ones and obviously the floral pattern and there's little bumblebees in there too which i thought was very cute and then finally um hobbycraft near me have got all of their christmas stuff out well not all probably like a good selection of their christmas stuff out already um and I really wanted to buy everything, but I have so much Christmas stash left over that I didn't want to buy too much yet. 
but I did pick up these chipboard reindeers because I thought even if I don't use them, I could use them to like seal my little um, cellophane bags that I use for my Etsy orders around Christmas time. So yes, I love them. So yeah, I think that that is all of my birthday presents this year. Considering I turned 22 and it wasn't a big birthday, I think I did pretty well in, in terms of Christmas, um, in terms of birthday presents. I was very spoiled and I'm very grateful to my lovely family for always spoiling me and always making my birthdays super special because I know that some families don't really do birthdays, but we really do. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you next time. Bye guys.